a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Ben. Be safe, be healthy. It's a marvelous day. Let's go to the movies. And speaking of marvelous, we have yeah. a, a new Marvels movie, The Marvels. That's the uh, first one on your list here for the week. Yep, The Marvels, opening in theaters tomorrow, November 10th. We're back to the Marvel Cinema Universe, the MCU, again this fall season, and they are advancing their characters in a bright and original way in the Marvels. Yep, it's Marvel's plural, as three iterations of the female Captain Marvel character come together. The original Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, Ms. Marvel, Iman Vellani, and not-yet-named Marvel, Tiani Paris, facilitated, of course, by Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson. Their powers somehow get connected, and they keep switching places with each other in their various battles and home life, which includes Ms. Marvel's hilarious family from India. Their main beef is with a space refugee named Dar Ben, Zawi Ashton, who finds a power bracelet similar to Ms. Marvel and blames Captain Marvel for the refugee status of her tribe. When Dar Ben's newfound power begins to destabilize the universe, all three of the power trio will need to save us. Now, this superhero film is brilliantly original as the all-woman production team creates scenarios that are outside the usual. For example, a space tribe that sings instead of talks, and a tribute to unusual cats. That's right, cats. This blends into an absurdity that is totally hilarious, refreshing, and appropriate to the situation. The only complaint I have, which I understood because I knew the backstory, but I wonder about others, is the break supplied in the film to explain what was going on called exposition. But that's minor compared to the fun, laughs, and atmospheric beauty most of the action takes place in space, as it's much a sci-fi movie as a superhero one, uh, that any age group or even an anti-superhero folk will dig this one. And the comic book geeks out there can finally take a date, and they will enjoy it. That is, of course, if they can find a date. The Marvels, four and a half out of five in theaters tomorrow, November 10th. 